Today I want to show you guys how to use the gradient map in Photoshop to color an illustration. In this video I'll explain briefly what the gradient map is, how it works, and when, why, and how I use it. Most often I'll build an illustration with a specific palette, working with color from the beginning. Occasionally though I like to work in black and white, and then add color later. This allows me to focus more on composition, structure, value, things like that, and not have to be cumbered with color early on. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the gradient map is. Essentially it's a adjustment layer that allows you to assign color to your illustration based on the values of the illustration. Well, it may not make a lot of sense describing it. Uh, it's probably easier to show how it works. So, so to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and make a gradient here uh, from black to white, um, just so we can show the how this works on a full range of, of values. Okay, let's go ahead and change that opacity to 100% here. And let's take a look at how this works. So to find the gradient map, there's a couple ways to do it. The way that I usually do it though is as an adjustment layer, which if you go to your layers palette, is this little half moon icon down on the bottom. Um, if you haven't been using adjustment layers in this way, it's kind of an essential, uh, really great thing to learn. Um, just one thing to note, my videos are generally uh, geared toward kind of an intermediate user. So somebody who uses Photoshop fairly often. Um, so if, uh, if this does prove a little challenging, uh, bear that in mind. So uh, gradient map right here at the bottom of the menu. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And uh, it's hard to tell what's happened here, so so uh, so I'll go in and explain. So basically, uh, if we look up here in the properties palette here, the properties menu, uh, there's a little gradient slider or gradient bar here, and and that's that's basically the color that's being assigned to our illustration. So right now it's going from black to white because those are my uh, um, foreground and background colors, and so that's that's what it grabs. So just for the sake of this example, I'm just gonna grab one of the existing gradients here in the gradient editor. Just do that one there. And and there we go. So now, it's it's gonna be a little, even now, hard to tell what's happening. Uh, you know, it's just a gradient, but let's go in here to the, to the mask. And I'm gonna mask off part of this so you can get a better idea of what's going on behind. Okay, so we masked off half of that. So you can see my original gradient with now the gradient map over the top of it. So I'm gonna go back up here to the gradient editor. And basically what's happening is, um, is the, the, the gradient map is applying to my artwork um, by assigning color to, uh, to the various values of my illustration. So here I have black, so my darkest values, and white, my lightest values. And so the black, this color purple is assigned to my black values, and this color orange is assigned to my white values on the other end of the, of the histogram there. So, um, and then every shade of black and gray all the way up to white in between is assigned this, the you know the colors that range between the purple and the orange. Um, so if I added another node in here, let's say at 50%, right here in the middle, that's going to assign to the 50% gray. So right about in the center of my uh, my gradient there. So I can change this color to whatever I want. Let's just randomly choose something here, like this green. And then the other thing I can do is I can slide this around so I can move this green so it's heading over into the darker grays or up here so it's heading more into the whites, that type of thing. Okay, hopefully that makes some sense. So th this is all helpful and, and neat, but uh, but really I, I think let's take a look at how this works for a real illustration and, and that's where you'll see the power of this. So I've already prepared a little document here with an illustration I've made in the past, uh, change it to black and white. And in fact, that's how these were built originally. So, uh, so what I'll do is 
I'm going to go ahead and assign a, um, adjustment layer gradient map. And here again, it's chosen my uh, foreground and background colors. I'm going to go in there and change these. So, so now, rather than having a solid black as my darkest colors, I want to change that to something a little lighter, uh, maybe in the blue ranges as well. So let's grab something down, down in here, maybe a little gray or two to pull out some of the saturation. Uh, now, a little darker too, maybe about like so. Okay. Now I'm going to change my highlights to not be a pure white. Let's change that to something more like a kind of a warmer tone, a little darker than white, a little bit of yellow. Now uh, I'm going to just go ahead and assign some other colors here in between. <laughs> Definitely not that one. Let's go with something again more in the kind of blue and purple range. Desaturate this one a fair amount. Maybe around in here, that's a little too purple. Let's bring in some more blue. Okay. I want to bring in some more green as it blends into the yellow in these mid-tones. A little more like that. Let's darken this color back up again. About like that. Okay. There's my mid-tones. Let's go in here and get kind of an intermediate tone. Let me choose something a little greener, a fair amount lighter. Getting more toward those yellows. And then in here, maybe something that's a little bit more in the uh, lighter orange tones, or actually even pink. More in the pinks, like so. Okay, so I'm noticing here I don't like the variation between this dark and the next mid-tone. They're a little too close, so I'm going gonna, gonna to darken this one just a little bit more. And that's the beauty of this gradient map, is you can go in here at any old time and, and change these, uh, these colors as you go along after the fact. Because, I'll hit OK here, because it is an adjustment layer, I can... I can go in here and click on that and then edit this gradient at any point. So, so really, again, that is the beauty of, of adjustment layers and using those for, for uh, adding color to, to an illustration. So this one I'm going to pull up a little, I'm going to pull back this way just a little bit. So these midtones are a little lighter. And again, as I'm pulling these, these are getting pulled sort of along the uh, uh, the spectrum between black and white in my in my illustration as it's assigning the colors to those values. Let's lighten this one up just a little bit more and move that more into the blues, closer to the green end, like this. Okay, it may not be perfect, but for the sake of this example, hopefully you're, you're getting the idea. And so there we go. So th this is one uh, example of how you might, might use this. Now, I want to show you something else, as if I haven't maybe confused you enough. Let me, uh, let me show you another thing you can do here. So right now, these colors are being um, assigned directly. So, so in other words, this color here at the far end of the spectrum and this color at the far end of the spectrum are applying directly. So solid black on the far left is being replaced with this color, which is lighter than black. And this white on the far end is darker than pure white. So it's darkening any of my pure whites in my illustration. So right now, in other words, I'm applying the, the literal colors that I've put into this gradient. But what we can also do is we can actually take those same colors, but apply them to the same values that I have in the existing illustration. So in other words, we'll just apply them as tints to my existing uh, black and white illustration here. And the way we can do that 
is by clicking on the gradient map layer, you can, you can come in here to the uh, layer modes and change this to really anything you want. But for, for, uh, for this purpose, I'm going to go ahead and change this to color. So that again, it's only applying the color and not the values of the gradient that I just created up here. And I think I actually like the result of this better. So if I hit Command Z, or I'll go up here to Edit Undo so you can see what I'm doing, it changes it back to the normal mode. And you can see the difference here. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle that a couple times. So you can see the difference. So depending on, um, on the application, depending on your illustration, depending on, on the colors you're applying, it may be better to, to uh, change it to color, so it's just applying the tints, or leave it as normal so that you're applying the literal colors of the gradient. Um, each one has its place. Um, both are useful. So there you have it. Hopefully that made some sense. Hopefully you'll find that useful. Um, I use this actually quite often, especially for illustrations like this that have a lot of value and sort of nuance of, uh, of value throughout. Um, whereas some of the ones that I showed at the beginning of the, of the video that are more kind of solid colors, the, those the gradient map isn't quite as useful for me. But, uh, but hopefully this, this is of some use to you, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.